Okay, hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. It's Dr. Lakeisha, and I welcome you to the Leadership TKO Show. Welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Lakeisha, also known as Dr. Cousin. And so I welcome you to the live stream, to the YouTube channel, for those of you who are on that platform. And for those of you who are on the podcast platforms throughout the world, welcome to this podcast show. I'm glad to be here with you. I am a network marketing coach, as well as a kingdom ambassador, along with being a network marketing mentor. And so again, I welcome you to this particular stream. We go live with the Leadership TKO show Mondays and Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then we do our very best to upload the content right onto the YouTube channel. So again, just look forward to this being provided for you on YouTube before the night is out. But I do welcome you here to the show. We want to make sure that this information is available. It is live for those of you to consume and actually to access on Facebook. Sometimes they like to change the settings. When we stream from one platform to another platform, it'll change to like private. So we want to make sure it is public. And so we have taken care of that. And so welcome. It's Wednesday, December the 6th of 2023. Fourth quarter is here. The holiday is right around the corner. We've just finished Thanksgiving. Now we're running straight forward uh, into the Christmas holiday as well as to the New Year's. And so we do have a special topic or at least a general category that we focus in on here on Wednesdays, and that is on wealth building or passive income generation. And so me, myself, myself, my husband, we, we've been married for over 17 years. We have two children. And we are definitely focusing on creating generational wealth, okay? Legacy is what we're looking at. And wealth and money is just one small part of the generational wealth, is one small part of the legacy. But we like to talk about this because in many families today, money is not spoken of. You see people running off to a J-O-B and they're looking to try to you know, rob Peter to pay Paul to do things. And then a lot of people are seeking to gather money together just to spend money for the holidays. Well, we're going to address some of that on today, because if you don't know, with Leadership TKO, the mission is to empower men and women, network marketers, wealth builders like yourself with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. So if that's you, if you are a network marketer, if you are a wealth builder, someone who is seeking to create generational wealth, this is the show for you. Okay. This is the show for you. And I welcome you. We, we know that the majority of people who tune in happen to be women. And so sometimes I may address women specifically during certain points because I know the majority of those of you who are watching this happen to be women like myself. And so we're going to talk about a topic that's relevant to where we are now. Okay. So if you are ready, I'm ready. Let's get into it. And don't forget to drop your city and state where you are tuning in from. Put it in the comment section for me. I do want to acknowledge those of you who are here with me live. And then those of you who may catch this as a replay, I want to see who is actually plugging in, who is actually prepared and ready to build this wealth. So let me go ahead. I want to make sure that I put this special tag here in the comments area. I do see Vera Powell. She's tuning in. Good evening to you, Vera. Thank you for plugging into the Leadership TKO show. Glad to have you here. And yes, don't forget to like or love the video and leave some comments below as we are plugging in. So whatever uh, resonates with you as you're tuning into this, yes, take some notes, number one. And then number two, drop some information in the comments area about what stood out to you the most. And so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, I don't have a fancy PowerPoint on this evening. It's just going to be you and I. I do have some notes in another area that I may glance at. So I'm just giving you a heads up. I have notes. It helps me to stay on task and make sure I give you what's important. Okay, what's important? So what is our topic for today? Well, if you so happen to want to know, it's mastering holiday finances. Yes, Mastering Holiday Finance is your ultimate guide to avoiding Christmas overspending. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen it. I saw an, an ad or someone put up a reel where a family went into a store and they, they saw the sale sign, right? And um, it said for sale or it said Black Friday sale. That's what it said. And then they happened to move the tag behind it. And when they moved the tag behind it, guess what it also said? The same price. And so the family members were like, well, that's interesting. And they went to the next item and they saw the Black Friday price. And then they pulled the price from behind the regular sale price. And they say, well, hmm, this so happens to not be a coincidence. So what is truly going on here? Is it really a sale or is it a marketing tactic? Is it a marketing tactic? Is Black Friday sales really real? Or is it just another way to get you into the stores and spend money? Because most businesses today is connected to this whole concept of capitalism and they're capitalizing on your mindset of rushing out to the store whenever a holiday rolls around. They are definitely taking advantage of this time of the year. OK, so with that in mind, I know that there are going to be many people who are going to be going out and spending money if you haven't spent money already. And so what we're going to do on tonight, I'm going to give you three important tips for my wealth builders out there. For those of you who want to be mindful of your spending and, and you may want to get a gift or two. And so I know that this this time of year, some of you may want to get gifts. I get it. And so I have three points I do want to share with you as a way to stay on track with your financial goals. And these are just some tips, three tips that I actually implement into my life and into my household as well. And hopefully it will be relevant and, and really good for you all to implement as well, especially those of you who are moms and those of you who are wealth builders. So the first tip is this, if you're going to be taking notes, and that is create a budget. I know. Creating a budget doesn't mean that you're broke. Let me just say this. Creating a budget doesn't necessarily mean that you're broke. I'm just going to put this out there, bust the little myth or the assumption that some people make when, when you hear somebody say, well, I got a budget. You're just being mindful of what you're spending your money on. You don't want to overspend on things that is not going to make you money. OK, you want to create a realistic budget for the holiday, your holiday spending. Determine. OK, here's an important point. Determine how much you can afford or that you want to spend without jeopardizing your financial stability or your goals when it comes to saving. Because I know that there's a certain portion of money that I want to still work for me rather than me going out to the store and buying things. So you want to make sure you have a set amount that you have and stick to it. Someone put those words in the comment section. Stick to the plan. <laughs> stick to the plan, my friend. You want to stick to the plan. And so that's just a part, a portion of creating a budget. So yes, yeah, set a realistic budget. You want to make a list of all of the holiday related expenses. It could be you purchasing gifts. It could be decorations, travel, right? Your travel spending, your entertaining or entertainment, I should say. You want to allocate a specific amount of money, you know, to each of these categories. So, what you know, some people like to decorate their home in a very elaborate way. So how much money are you going to set aside for that? And then some of you may be able to utilize the same decorations from last year. You don't even need to go and spend a whole lot of money on new decorations. You can utilize some of your decor, yeah, right, your decorations from last year. I know that's what we're planning to do. We're not going in and splurging on decorations. We're not doing that, okay? And then also just know that you want to stick to your budget religiously. You all know what I mean by that, right? Use tools like spreadsheets if you need to, or even budgeting apps to track your spending and ensure that you don't exceed your limits. So hopefully you all are understanding. Ladies, hopefully you understand what I mean by create a budget. Okay, create a budget. Hopefully you're rolling with me. You're rolling with me. And by the way, yes, I have on green. It so happens to be the holiday colors and it's my favorite color. I'm surprised I don't have on green eyeshadow right now, ladies. 
You all know, I, I yeah, I didn't get to that point. I was actually coming in from running some errands and I said, I gotta stick to doing, doing this live stream. All right, so the first point is create a budget. The second point that I do wanna make mention of is you wanna plan ahead and shop smart. Plan ahead and shop smart. You want to start your holiday shopping early to take advantage of the sales that make sense. Let me say that one more time for everybody in the back. Take advantage of the sales that make sense. I was mentioning this, mentioning this the other day, how one of the one of my favorite health and wellness businesses where I get my sea moss. Anybody that knows me knows that I utilize sea moss, and everybody in my household we utilize sea moss religiously. Like every day is a sea moss day. Uh, here with us. And it does wonders for our hair, for our skin, and many other aspects as it pertains to our health. But we had we had ran out of sea moss a few weeks ago. And then we also knew that Black Friday was coming up. So I said, let me just wait because here it's going to roll around and they may have a sale. And lo and behold, they did. I was able to get six jars of 32 ounce bottles of sea moss for less than $160. And you can keep the mason jars to utilize for other things. So that is a deal for us because we know how much one jar of already made sea moss can be. And it's flavored sea moss. So hopefully you all know where I'm getting at with this. You want to be smart when it comes to the sales, the discounts, the promotions. Make sure it makes sense because some of these sales are not really sales at all. And so you want to avoid last minute shopping, which really oftentimes it can lead to very impulsive purchases at higher prices because you didn't really look around. You just purchased the first thing you saw and boom, you know, you go to another store. You're like, oh, my gosh, there it is right there, much less than what you had paid. So now you're ripping and running, thinking that you're going to go back and return something and go get go back and get it for a cheaper price. So it just, you know, be smart about it. Don't try to do last minute shopping. Avoid that. OK, make a list of the gifts that you intend to buy for each person. If that's something you're going to do. Me personally, listen, I'm into this wealth building um, focus here. So more than likely, the gifts are pertaining to wealth building for me especially this year. So make a list, if you're intending to buy gifts, make a list of what you're intending to buy for each person and do some research to find the best deals. Consider shopping online to really compare prices uh, easily because I oftentimes saw that purchasing specific items online can be less than purchasing it in person. So it really depends on what it is you're seeking to obtain. And so look for opportunities to use cash back offers and coupons and rewards points to really reduce your out of pocket expenses, because it can reduce it by quite a bit if you're smart about it. OK, and then last point about this point of, of shopping smart and planning ahead is that you do want to consider giving meaningful, thoughtful gifts, meaningful, thoughtful gifts or experiences, okay, can be more appreciated than really costly items. Spending time with loved ones can be a better gift than actually purchasing a physical item. Think about it. For example, let me give you a, a relevant example. Going and visiting my grandmother will be a more valuable gift, and my grandmother is probably close to her 90s, is more valuable than purchasing her a gift. She's of just about 90 years old. What can I purchase for her then that she doesn't already have or did not have? So my time with her is more valuable. Time with loved ones I consider is more valuable than purchasing a gift. That's just my thoughts about it, okay? Now this last point, this last point is this. Limit your social obligations. I know you're like, how is that even relevant uh, to achieving your financial goals during the holidays? Well, this is the thing. Don't feel pressured to attend every holiday party, every holiday event, especially if they come with significant costs like travel, gifts, or hosting expenses. Don't feel pressured, 
Okay. You don't have to do, go to every event. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. You don't have to participate in the Pollyanna at, at the job. You don't have to. Don't feel pressured as if you have to do it. Consider hosting, if you're going to do an event, consider hosting a potluck gathering, you know, where everyone brings a dish or contributes to the meal. Reduce your overall expenses. You don't have to go overboard with your spending. And then the final point here about limiting your social obligations is, you know, have open and honest conversations with friends and family about setting reasonable expectations for gifts, exchanges, and holiday spending. You know, suggest alternatives like, you know, perhaps even a secret Santa to reduce the number of gifts that need to be exchanged. And then another point that you want to think about is perhaps you want to explore DIY gifts or experiences. Now, DIY, DIY, DIY is do it yourself. Do it yourself. DIY. Consider do it yourself gifts or experiences that are more personal. There's a more personal touch. That's like, for example, my kids going to the store. I have two kids. Okay, 11 and seven. It's like me going to the store with them. They pick up a couple of items and they create a gift for their father. Okay, instead of going out and purchasing a gift, uh, that's a more meaningful gift rather than just going out and just buying something. Remember, the true spirit of the holiday is about spending time with loved ones and showing appreciation. And it's not necessarily about extravagant spending. It's not about that. And to really burst the real bubble, Jesus's birthday is not on Christmas. No. What I look at Christmas as is this. It's a way to remember the birth of Christ. That's how I look at it as. It's not Xmas. We're not taking the Christ out of Christmas. Okay? It is the Christmas holiday. And some people choose to celebrate it and others don't. That's your choice. But for those of you who are going to be participating this year, these are just some tips for you. I gave you three tips during this particular stream, three, three, three particular points as it pertains to really mastering this time of the year in terms of your spending. That's what we were focusing in on, mastering holiday finances. And I gave you three points. The first one I said was create a budget. The second point that I mentioned was for you to plan ahead and shop smart. And then lastly, limit your social obligations. Do not feel pressured to have to participate in everything, host all types of events. You don't have to do all of that because the real reason for the season is spending time with loved ones, okay? Showing them how much that you care. And for all, for those of you who are spirit-led individuals, kingdom ambassadors, we're remembering the birth of Christ. His birthday is not on Christmas but we're taking a moment to remember the birth, the significance of him being born. So again, I just wanna say thank you so very much for plugging in to this particular stream, this video, the podcast on this evening. Again, Leadership TKO, I'm Dr. Lakeisha McKnight, also known as Dr. Cousin. Now, if you need more tips and strategies on how to learn, how to put your money to work for you, if you wanna understand and learn more about the gifts that can keep on giving, Keep on rewarding you and your family. Keep on helping you and your family put your money to work for you. There are some great gifts out here. We're talking about digital gifts, gifts that create generational wealth. And so you can participate in that. You can actually do what the wealthy, what we are doing. And so all it takes is for you to reach out. You can leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube or on the podcast. You can also leave a comment below for those of you on Facebook or send me an inbox message and I'll get back with you. We can talk about how we can schedule an appointment and we can talk about how you can do a new thing as we're concluding this 2023 year and heading into 2024. So with that in mind, thank you so very much for tuning in. And so remember until the next time that you and I come together again, I'm gonna encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night to you and God bless.